Hey guys, good afternoon. It is 12.37. Um, so I am at the airport and crew scheduling gave me couch again. So today I am C. Ready Reserve, our city couch. And basically that is from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. But again, they can extend us by two hours, so it could be 9 p.m., right? And I am actually on the third day of my five-day reserve block. So you guys know I am reserve A, meaning that my reserve day is 12.01 a.m. to 1 p.m. So I started on the 12th. So the 12th, 13th, and today is October 14th. So I have two more days on my reserve block. So I am hoping they use me. Every time I sit couch, they really don't need me for anything. I had a few classmates that were sitting couch for A and B and they weren't used. So I'm hoping they use me today, guys. But I have on that Gigi wig. I kind of trimmed her a little bit because it was getting out a little bit tangled at the end. So I um, checked in the crew scheduling. I got my drink that actually somebody bought for me. So I'm very excited. Saving money. And y'all... Y'all gonna be so proud of me. I bought my lunch today. Yes, I am not doing the airport thing because my spending is getting kind of disrespectful. And I tell you guys all the time, it is rough on this uh, reserve street, right? And here I am spending money like I just got it like that, and I don't. So I bought my lunch, and I will show you guys later what I bought. But let's see. Oh, I'm going to bid, well, aggressively bid for a trip. So how my airline works is um, you can aggressively bid, and what that means is, for instance, I have two more days left right on my five-day reserve block. So the 15th and the 16th, there is a two-day trip. So when you aggressively bid, you're basically swapping out your reserve day for an actual trip. But they have to line day for day. Meaning, if it was a one-day trip and I have two days left, crew scheduling will deny it. Or if it's a three-day trip and I only have a two-day block, they'll deny it. So there's a two-day trip where I will be seen. It is a uh, stand-up, and you guys know what a stand-up is. Those are those trips that nobody likes, and that's basically when you're working, but you technically have a, not even a rest period, it's like a good little nap, right? depending on when you get to the hotel. So this trip, I will be D, and it is Denver to Seattle, and Seattle coming back to Denver. So at one o'clock, I'm going to uh, bid for that. And how aggressively, aggressive bidding works is, is first come, first serve. Meaning that at 1300, it, you can bid, but whomever submits there the quickest, they get the trip. But they don't technically let you know you, you got the trip, so probably, 6 p.m. or 7, it just really depends. But I'm hoping that I get this trip because the thing for me is I really don't like sitting. Because right now what I'm doing is this is just in case they need me, right? Ready reserve to me is like paying a car insurance. How many times do y'all pay car insurance you never get into an accident? But you need the insurance just in case something might happen, right? That's what this is, just in case someone should call out before two hours, um, someone doesn't make a connecting flight, they got me, baby, and I am ready to go. Look, I got my bags, y'all, look. I got my purse, my crew bag, my tote is on the other side right there, and then I got my makeup bag. So when I tell you she's ready to go, she is ready to go, honey. I am ready. And y'all can see my eyeshadow. I got like green with a little bit of, I don't know, pink, red, but it's the chocolate palette. I did something a little different. Hoping they call me. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing, guys. So I'm waiting for 1 o'clock to open up so I can bid for a trip. But y'all, so much is going on, y'all. Like, I wish I could really just dive in and talk, but I can't. You know, there's like a... So much going on that I can't even speak on. Just know your girl is going through something. You know, by the time y'all see this video, hopefully this will pass. But I will tell you guys something very interesting, right? Well, I'll actually, I'll tell you guys later. Because I'm honest with you guys. I'm sorry, I keep jerking because my phone is sliding. But um, I'm honest with you guys. I have no reason to lie to you. You know, we're like 
I don't know, this vlogging thing. It's like you guys know me, you know. I tell you all my business, so I got some stuff to tell you guys later. Again, if they don't use me, I will be here at 7 o'clock. Possibly 9 o'clock, so I have nothing but time on my hands. But um, right now, I'm just sitting in the corner. I don't want to go inside the crew room. And I'm hoping that I'm able to get this trip or they actually use me today. But I will check in with you guys a little bit shortly. I do need to catch up on my shows. I don't know if you guys watch 90 Day Fiance. Love that show. Um, I think out of all the couples this season, um, the couple that I laugh at a lot is actually uh, Angela and Michael. Y'all know who that is, the Nigerian and Angela. Like, all the couples are interesting, but for some reason, Michael and Angela, I mean, that's just a lot. Um, I can also say Ben and Akini, and Ben is the white guy, and Akini is the Nigerian woman. Well, I don't think she's Nigerian, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, there's a few couples on here that I really need to watch. Um, but that's what I'll be doing. I will be kind of looking at that um, and catching up on my shows as I sit and just wait, honey. Um, so anyway, I will be checking in with you guys later. I'm just going to sit here for a minute and mind my business, and I will be back. So yeah, y'all, stay tuned. Another day of reserves. And this is the life of a flight attendant. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so I'm just back with an update. It is 2.26 and I'm just sitting and waiting. Um, so I did bid for two trips. So again, I am good for two more days on my reserve block. So I did that stand up and then there was another trip guys that I'm good for. Um, it's actually to MSP, which I believe is Minneapolis St. Paul. I believe that's the airport code. So there's a little bit of, there's like a 19-hour like a layover in um, Minneapolis, St. Paul. So I did bid for two. So I'm not going to know anything until a little bit later on. So I hope I get either one, just any one of them. Both of them, um, the flight attendant will be D. So I'm very good with D. You know, I play my position in the back, baby. Um, but right now, guys, I am watching a classic. I absolutely love this movie. And I decided to download this movie. And I think you guys know exactly what kind of movie um, when I show you guys. It's a classic, so let me show you. And you won't be able to hear it. You guys see this? Remember, you got to coordinate. You got to coordinate. <laughs> Look at that. This is so funny. <laughs> Look at y'all. Mushroom shirt. He said I didn't start with the mushroom shirt. Look at that. <laughs> mushroom belt. <laughs> Yo. I love this movie. I absolutely love it. Eddie Murphy had legends in this movie. Grace Jones, uh, Eartha Kitt, well, Catwoman, right? Um, who else do we have in here? You know, he had in Holly Berry, Robin Givens, Martin Lawrence, Chris Rock. So many legends. Like, I absolutely love this movie. Um, this is a good story behind Boomerang. So y'all know Marcus was dogging out all those women, and he met his match with Jacqueline. And then he meets you know, Agatha, no, I'm just playing, he meets uh, Angela Holly Berry and she changes his perception about love. And I always believe that. That's why I love this movie because he was a dog in the beginning. Like I remember how he did uh, Leela with Sean. You know, when she had, you know, the bumps on her toes and you know, she's like, Kirby, Kirby, you know, looking for Kirby and all that. But I love this movie, y'all. Like I can watch this movie over and over again. Actually, I have a list. Menace to Society, right? Color Purple, The Temptation, um, The Five Heartbeats. Love those movies, y'all. I can watch those movies over and over again. So, um, drop down your favorite movies. Like, do you guys like watching, you know, have you watched The Temptation, Five Heartbeats? Um, oh, Boys in the Hood, that's another one. Um, what else does I say? Menace to Society, uh, The Color Purple. Like, those are just my favorite line up. Do you like them? If you do, what's your favorite scene? Like, I have so many different favorite scenes. Uh, Forrest Gump. 
like every movie means something to me. I always try to find the message or the good. You know what I mean? Like for instance, with Menace to Society, right? Kane was a good guy. I think Kane became a different person with Old Dog because he treated those, you know, two different women differently. You know, Alina, he mad, you know, he hit it. Remember, he had the Jimmy on extra tight, got pregnant, didn't claim the baby or whatever. But with um, Jada Pinkett, you know, he loved her. And I know he had respect for Parnell, but he loved Jada Pinkett because Jada Pinkett was special to him. And he loved her son, Anthony. So what was Jada Pinkett's name in that movie? I think it was Ronnie. I think so, but I look at it different. Like, there's two different types of females. You got the Eileen and you got Ronnie. Let me see if that was her name in Menace to Society. Hold on, y'all. Because I could be telling you guys a lie. I think it was Ronnie, but let me see. Dang, maybe it wasn't Ronnie. Ronnie was on Players Club. Let me see here. Menace to Society. I don't think it was Ronnie. What was that girl's name? Let me see. Um... Oh, it was Ronnie. Eh, okay, so I was right. It was Ronnie, but yeah. So that's how I take things. But anyways, I'm going to watch the rest of Boomerang, and I was going to show you guys something else. Like, I have actually two movies to, um, that I downloaded. And guess what the other one is, y'all? Menace to Society. So yeah, those are going to be my movies that I'm watching, and I'm going to download more, but I will be back with you guys with another update. It's 2.31 right now, and I am still waiting, and then I'll let you guys know if I did get that either one of those trips. I hope I do, but you never know. So anyways, back to the pretty, y'all, so I will be back with you guys later. Guys, guess who I am with in the crew room? Hey, uh, the one and only Brandon. Is your thing up yet? Your uh, uh, YouTube? I've lo uploaded videos. I just haven't published it. Okay, he has an iPhone, and I love y'all know this Samsung Galaxy S7 is so disrespectful. <laughs> I love his pictures. Right, your pictures are so dope. Thank you. Brandon is living his best best life. He was in San Diego. You were at the cafe, and I wanted to be Fort there. Lauderdale, yeah. Yes, Fort Lauderdale. Like he's taking trips. I'm sitting with her. He's picking up turns. So that should tell you, I would say racism, but it's not. <laughs> it's, it is definitely not. How many hours you got, Brandon? Uh, so far this month? Yes. Oh, what's projected? Oh, projected? Oh, how do I know that? Because I'm right. I, got, I picked up trips for later on this month. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah, how do I know so that? So far, I am at 47. You're at 47? Okay. Now watch this, y'all. He's at 47. How much is he getting? Uh, let me make this. Here's my flight crew view. You know, that's not an accurate lore. Let me refresh this on him real quick. Disrespectful. Okay, hold on, y'all. It's still loading. Because <laughs> I think I have like 19 hours. They don't include tricks you pick up on your day off, or do they? That shouldn't count. Yeah, I mean, it's all in there, but it can be, you can separate it out. Oh, how do you know about the hours? So, you get blocked at 24, credit to 34. What does that mean? I got 34 hours or 24? So I got 24 hours? Or 34 hours? 34. And you got how many? 50? 47. Okay. You're not too far off. Oh, I feel so bad now, y'all. I really thought, okay, because they gave a trip away. But anyways, y'all, Brandon has a trip, like he always does. Brandon, tell the viewers who follow you, where are you going today, baby? I am just on a simple Kansas City time. So Denver, Kansas City, Kansas City back. Okay. The last time I was on this flight, I got a number, so we'll see. Yes, you did? Okay. Yes, he is picking up trips, picking up numbers. I'm telling you, y'all. And I know you're doing credit cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, thank you for saying that. Yes. I got some yes. Yes. Doing okay. Well, please come back. I just wanted you to check in. I already see Brandon in the crew room, y'all. And he's living his best life with his um, different world glasses. I think those are... What's that guy's name? Dwayne? There was someone in a different world with those glasses. I love his... Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? The Dwayne Wayne. Yeah, Dwayne Wayne. Yeah, those glasses remind me. But, y'all, I had to just do an update with you. I'm still in the crew room, 338. I'm trying not to fall asleep. So, right now, I'm on YouTube looking at various videos. On Twitter, looking at various things. <sighs> okay, guys, I don't know how much longer, but I'll be back with you guys shortly. 
you guys, so right now it's uh, 4.40. We are just exploring. I'm actually here with someone who just graduated from class 19-15. Again, I am 14. And we're exploring a different part of the airport. So I've never been down here. So this is kind of new. This is another little spot that you can go to. Okay, this is United. And we have a tour guide. I'm just calling. Tour guide. You're a tour guide? Oh. I'm the tour guide. Manny, you just Follow graduated. Me. No, she's our tour guide, the beautiful Judy. Yes. So we are just oh, here, exploring here, some of the gates. If you look out the window, you can see it. Oh, wait, hold on. You see an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> you really doing a tour. What is this? Is American Airlines? What is this? American Airlines or United? Yeah. There's a few different ones. A few different ones. Okay, so that's what we're doing. And we're just going to be going, killing time, different parts of the airport. We're all on reserve. We're ready, ready reserve yeah. seat couch, 1 to 7 p.m. And you can be extended up to two hours, so possibly 9 p.m. Yeah. 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 So there's more food. I've never been to this part of the terminal. A, gates A71 through 99. This is new. What food is here? Okay. We're going to find out. So this is all new. A whole new world, y'all, for me. So we're definitely going to see. Hmm. Oh, you're cute. Oh, she was. She was cute. Okay. Oh, they do have food. Ooh. Check this out. Barbecue. Barbecue. Oh, yes. Well, there's barbecue. Oh, wow. Barbecue. What is this? Fine, Colorado. Is this the bar? Oh yeah, we can't. We can't be in there. Huh? I'm not okay. She's recording. No, you're not, sir. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. What is this? Oh. Okay. Snarf. Oh wow. Okay. Huh, this is pretty interesting. I've never been in this terminal. No. It's really yummy. Gluten free. Are we going to circle around? We're going to lock in and come back. Yeah, this is interesting. Like at night, this is a ghost town. Wow. And look, there's another restroom. Of course. Yeah. <gasps> well, they want to, this is like them exploring with us, you know. This is United? This one is. Okay. Each gate, it changes. Oh, wow. I think United owns this one. United is good. Frontier only owns. They own the, this one, and we have. I don't know which one they have. I've only gone like one out of one, one slide out of here. I think we can definitely. Really? Yeah, this is a whole new world. Yeah. And okay. It's the ones that have the outdoor jet bridges. Really? Okay. Here for us. Hmm. So, so does this lay the possible I can tell you the like wow. San Diego group? Exploring another part of the airport. Let's see. Eight. 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 There's no more food down here, right? Nope. Okay. The yeah. End of the, road. the end of the rope. Yeah. Or the road. Oh, hey. Yeah. Okay. They have the outdoor jet Oh, they do. Oh, my gosh. That would be so cool if I can go out there. Yeah. Okay. We're heading right back. Good little tour. You guys were with us. The A gate. What? A. 70. Seven, I think. I'm not sure. But I'll be with you guys shortly with our next adventure because my camera is dying. So stay tuned, guys. Oh, wow. More tour, guys. Going throughout the concourse. This is still Terminal A, I believe. Yeah. 
she's giving us the real deal. I've never seen this part of the airport. So you guys are going to follow me. Oh yeah, it goes to all gates. Yeah, you're right. This is a really good exercise, by the way. Terminal, it is. My legs are burning. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh, you see our planes. How oh, cool. All of our planes. Look, they're right there. If only crew scheduling would put me on one of those flights. Yeah. Shame on you, crew scheduling. I know. Wow. It's really you see them all lined up like that. That's actually really cool. So they take off this runway. This is interesting. Manny, you're getting the inside usually scoop. Usually more of them are gone, but they're all there. Yeah, you're right. Wow. Julie, our tour guide, <laughs> she is giving us the real tea right now about the Air Force and our um, concourse <laughs> and the restaurants, places I've never been. Yeah, this is beautiful. Hmm. Did you go skiing one? I did. I saw my ACL. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, so you're good. Uh oh. Very interesting, guys. So we're still doing a tour. There's a, a couple good restaurants that I was so tempted to go and buy something to eat, but I bought my food. I've been strong. The only thing I got was some water. Yeah, so we are still going through the concourse, and I will be with you guys shortly. I just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I'm looking at. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's 6.27, so I got what, 33 minutes? They have not used me. But anyways, I'm about to eat. I've been waiting because I thought, I hate to eat and they call me, right? But last night my crash pad, I made Sloppy Joe. So I'm going to show you guys what I made and how I bought it with me. My bread is a little smushed, but anyways, y'all get the picture. So here is the Sloppy Joe here. So this is the canned version. So I use what turkey ground beef or ground turkey, and this is the bold. So I bought that. I got these chips. I put some chips in here to go with my sloppy joe, and then here's my bread that I smashed. Okay, so again, guys, when I was doing my little terminal concourse tour, what were you doing? I was graduating your video. Oh my gosh, well, come here with your thick self. Yes, I graduated with him. This is Justin. I love, I love her. him. She's funny. Listen, you are from Alabama. <laughs> right, and when <laughs> I, I look at him, oh, yeah, no, let, me, let me get a full body shot. Yes. Yes, baby. Thick. That's how I like my men, honey. Yes, he is thick. Just like a milkshake. <laughs> Did you get my picture? I do. Okay. I didn't know you did my video, but yes. I graduated with him. There's a couple of my classmates here. But um, instead of me buying food today, guys, I was actually doing good, made some food, bought it with me. So I'm going to eat this. And this is really like a poor man's diet, but I love Sloppy Joe. I love it. My dad loves it. I'm hooked on it. I used to eat the regular uh, manwich sandwich, but now I get the bold. It's only a dollar. Two cans, three pounds of ground beef, some chips or some bananas, whatever y'all want to do, but you save money. So that's what I'll be eating. I got 30 minutes, and I am out of here, guys. But, yeah, right now I'm just catching up with um, my classmates. And actually, the last class I graduated, 1915. There's a lot of drama that goes on. So we're just conversing. We're all sitting couch. I'm doing C. They're doing D. And again, D couch is 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. So I am almost out of here. Now guys, I did aggressively bid for two trips. Y'all remember one was a stand-up. It was Denver to Seattle and coming right back, right? That's the one with the short amount of rest. Then I bid for another trip that's going to Minneapolis. So as of right now, at 6.30, there's been no answer. So I'll let y'all know if I get that trip or not. I'm hoping, because I mean, for my last two days of my block, I'll be going somewhere. So that is subject to change, but yes, I love Russell's. Like, these chips here, y'all, these are the best. The sour cream and onion. Now, I know this is bad, but I love these chips. My mom, 
I mean, you can definitely snack with a ham sandwich, fried bologna, whatever you like. I snack on these. And again, this is my way of saving money. Now, I do need to get better on my diet, but that's a whole other story. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to come to you guys, and I'll be with you. I got 30 minutes left. Let's see if they'll use me. So I will be with you shortly. Alright guys, it's about 7.10 and I just got released. So right now, it looks like I'm heading to the, I believe the employee parking lot because our crash pad car is parked there. So it looks like I will be driving home with someone else. Just waiting to see if he's off work yet. But interesting, right? I had a little bit of my Swazi Joe and someone called me and invited me to dinner. So we'll see how this goes. But I'm happy to be off. Disappointed I didn't get used. So hopefully those trips that I bid it for, I got. That's the one thing I need to find out. Um, I don't know when they're going to actually close the bid. That's the thing I need to worry about. But I will be with you guys shortly. I'm going to make my way to the train to go to the employee parking lot and get in the car, honey, and drive home. So I'll be with you later.